Hello, hello, and welcome to the All Fired Up Crafting Lounge. My name is Judy, and I am your hostess with the mostess. And when I say hostess with the mostess, I really mean it. You know why? Because I have COVID. Yes. I came down with COVID. This is the third day. It's not fun, folks. So please take care of yourselves. But the show must go on, right? So here we are on Friday, February 16th, 2024, working on our little mermaid here. I hope everybody else is having a fantastic, fantastic week. Uh, this came as quite the shock when you wake up one morning and you feel like you got hit by a bus. And that's exactly what I feel like still. So all I can ask is, Please, everybody, take care of yourselves. I know that this is something that, you know, hey, it's here. It's here to stay. But I just hope that my husband doesn't come down with it. So far, so good. Um, so, yeah. Had a teledoc appointment yesterday and uh got some meds so hopefully they're gonna start kicking in soon because this is really kicking my butt but i digress i asked how all of you were let me know down in the comments what's been going on what are you guys working on i actually picked up my cross stitch for the first time today and in three days and wouldn't you know the f third stitch that I put in I messed up <laughs> so I figured mm, maybe I'm just not ready for cross stitch right about now so I'll get back to that <clears throat> hopefully the beginning of next week I am on vacation next week boy doesn't this put <laughs> put a kibosh to any plans that might have been but uh my very very dear and loving uh former supervisor Tammy reached out and bless her heart wanted to know if she could send anything for us and I was so humbled at that, seriously. And my teammates have been reaching out. They didn't know what was going on. They just knew that I had called out a couple times. So finally, uh, a teammate reached out. And I had to let the cat out of the bag. And, uh, and then other teammates reached out too. So that was lovely. These stickers, holy cow, are so much fun. Oh, I can't wait for next week's series. I, I hope you guys are liking these because I love them. I know Debbie's having a blast too. Oh my goodness. We really are having so much fun doing them. As you can tell, I've already pre-poured uh, my colors. <clears throat> Kind of cuts down on time for me. So, and I'm sorry if I'm a little quiet. I know you folks understand. You know, we didn't think it was COVID because um, in one day, our weather went from 82 degrees to 52 degrees. And it was the next day that I woke up. Sick as a dog. Did not think it was COVID at all. Just thought it was the temperature change. And then later on in the afternoon, my husband made me a cup of lemon ginger tea. He knows that's my all-time favorite. Whether I'm sick or not, that is my all-time favorite tea. He made the tea. He brought it into me. And he says, uh, oh, you should be able to smell that, uh, that lemon and ginger. And 
immediately that what came out of my mouth shocked me. I can't smell anything. Folks, my eyes got huge because I couldn't believe what I had just said. I drank some of the tea, took another little nap, got up and decided, let me get out a test kit. Because my husband and I like to keep test kits on hand. So, got out a test kit and my husband looks at me and he says, you think it's COVID? And I said, hun, I told you before I couldn't smell anything. He says, yeah. I said, well, when I was drinking my tea, I couldn't taste it either. And lemon ginger tea, anybody who's drank it knows that it's quite pungent. All I could quote unquote taste was the coating of the ginger in my mouth, which always happens. So the positive tests didn't shock me whatsoever. That being said, I told my husband, you know what? We have a different test kit also. So I'm going to try one of the other ones too. That little sucker came back positive too. But my husband's came back negative, so. Yay. Alrighty, the only color that I did not account for was her little cheeks. I'm so sorry, girl. I didn't even see that symbol. Uh, my bad. Okay, that's the at symbol. So bear with me one second, folks. I have it in here, I know. Here we go. Alrighty. We only need two. So I'm gonna try to try to do a perfect pour into one of these little boats that I'm using already. One two. Ah. Yay. The week is not a total loss. Woohoo. <laughs> so again, thank you for joining Debbie and I on our sticker journey. It is a lot of fun. Uh, we are having an absolute blast doing it. And again, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. She turned out simply lovely. I wish I looked like her right now. Not even close. <laughs> but anyway, so that's another week is down. Can you believe it? So, from me to you, from a distance, of course, so you don't get sick, all of the love in my heart. And please don't forget to, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are so inclined to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. By the way, if you have, welcome back and thank you for your support. Also, please don't forget to go over to Debbie Gets Crafty. That's my twin sister who is also doing her sticker series as well. Show her some crafty love. Leave her a comment. Tell her Judy from All Fired Up Crafting Lounge sent you. She gets a hoot out of it. Trust me, kids. Um, and with that being said, enjoy your long weekend. It's President's Day weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend with love from me to you. See you next week. Bye now.